And welcome to the Aaron Kantzman Show. I'm your host, Aaron Kantzman. We're here to speak to you about your life, your money, and your investments. And as always, we're coming to you from the spiritual and soon-to-be financial capital of the world, Jerusalem, Israel, where you see behind me has turned into the place with more water and beaches and sunsets over the ocean and sailboats than you can ever imagine anywhere in the world. That's just how amazing Jerusalem is. A city with no water and all of a sudden it's like amazing behind. If you've got any questions or comments, feel free to email me at Aaron, A-A-R-O-N at Lighthouse capital.co.il. That's Aaron at lighthousecapital.co.il. You can check me out on the web at www.aaronkatzman.com. That's www.aaronkatzman.com. Be sure to follow me on both Twitter and LinkedIn and subscribe to our brand new YouTube channel where you just type in, go to YouTube, type in Aaron Katzman, click that little subscribe button and you're good to go. And you get all the content in one place. So today, it's not going to be an interview. It's going to be a solo show with me. <laughs> Congratulations. And what I want to really speak about is um, playing retirement catch up. Over the last couple of days, literally last couple of days, I probably got, I don't know, three or four calls from people who are in their mid to upper 50s who um, have almost zero retirement savings and sort of like the light went off that they've got to get retirement savings. And uh, they called me to find out what they can do to start playing catch up. So that's what I would like to speak about. And the first thing I'd like to do before I give you a few tips, um, I'd like to encourage all of you who are a little younger, your 20s, your 30s, and certainly once you hit your 40s, please start saving for retirement. One, because it'll be so much easier. You won't have to put away as much. You won't have to change your lifestyle as much. And number two, because you're going to really build, if you do things correctly, you'll build a significant, a significant nest egg for retirement. If you're starting in your mid-50s, it's not so simple. It can be done. There's plenty of time. You shouldn't give up because you can't really give up, but you shouldn't give up, but just know that it's probably going to entail some lifestyle changes. So tip number one, if you're playing retirement catch-up, is to save more, right? Right? You haven't saved very much now. It's imperative that you start saving a minimum of 15%, 15, if not 20% of your income. And that might mean that you have to make some lifestyle changes, right? It might mean you can't eat out. I mean, you, you have to sacrifice the vacation. I understand that it's painful, but you know, you don't have much of a choice at this stage, right? You're going to be retiring in 10, 12, whatever amount of years. You've got to put away as much as humanly possible. Um, during that, during this, these, these last, uh, these last few years before you retire. And, you know, you have no, as we've spoken about in the past, you can count a little bit on the government, but it's probably not going to get you all the way through. So you really have to make a focus on saving as much as possible. Um, number two, maybe take on some extra work. I know you say, well, I work so hard and whatever, but you know what? Let's say you want to still go out to dinner or you want to you know, take that family vacation. You've got to find the money somewhere else, right? So you can drive an Uber. You can deliver pizzas. I don't know I, where we are and I, where my office is. Just walk the roads and you can see everybody's got help wanted ads going up there, uh, signs in their businesses, mostly in the service industry, right? I realize you're not going to be you know, CEO, but if you're looking to make a couple hundred bucks a week, which times 52, all of a sudden there's some serious money, um, I would strongly recommend doing that. You can take that money and plow that into savings as well. Remember, if you've got 10, 15 years until retirement and you can manage just from, you know, pizza deliveries or whatever to, say, to, to make an extra, uh, you know, eight to $10,000 a year to, to, to save, you're talking about, you know, a hundred with compound interest, you're talking close to $150,000 um, to add to your retirement nest egg. And it doesn't necessarily even have to be forever, right? You can just do that while you're starting to build up and really going gung-ho on your savings. So, so far we've spoken about starting to save and save a lot uh, every month because you don't have a choice, taking extra work. Number three, cutting, right? Cutting your lifestyle a little bit. I know I'm not saying anything that's like, oh my God, I never thought of that. But oftentimes when we're reminded of the most basic things, that's what, you know, and remind yourself over and over and over again, that's where we sort of get that push or we, you know, the light bulb again, it goes off and says, oh, this is what I've got to do, right? So um, 
make a budget. I bet I bet that you probably don't, for those of you in this situation, you don't only have a budget. It's sort of, sort of haphazard. You know, everything will work out, everything will be okay. Until now it has. Well, it sort of has, right? You might not be in debt. You might not, uh, you know, take out bank loans or what have you, but you have nothing in savings. So it hasn't been a, you know, a, a, a huge success. Um, and we want to, you know, you need to have a, you're going to retire. Right? You've, got, you've got to have some money in the bank to retire, right? Um, so make a budget uh, and cut out things which might be unnecessary. I know you're going to say, well, everything's necessary. It's not true, right? You don't have to go out. You can, uh, you know, if you've got a, a Netflix and a MLB TV and a Hulu and a whatever, you know, Viacom, uh, or in Israel, if you have a yes pack, all these different packages, so cut two of them out. And all of a sudden, wow, I just saved myself, you know, $100 a month, $200 a month. You don't need to have everything to make you happy. And oftentimes, if you can do without something, it might even make you a little bit happier. But that's one way, again, to save money. You don't necessarily have to work, right? Cutting money. What we're trying to do is one way, by hook or by crook, trying to find positive money, right? Increased money that you can take from your bank account and dump it into savings. That's the way you're going to get out of the mess that you're in and secure your financial future. So in review, you're, you're playing retirement catch up. You're going to want to save like gung-ho steroids, right? Your steroid saver, right? You have to put in 15, 20% of your income into investments, right? Tap out, maximize your retirement plans in the states they let you, you know, when you get to this stage with very little savings, you can save, you're allowed to put more than normal into contributions for retirement plans. So do that and save in taxable accounts also. Number two, maybe take on some extra work just to increase your income. Number three, do a budget and find some savings in there and put that money as well into savings and investments. And I'm telling you, you can, it's not too late, right? Don't give up that you're 55 and you have zero saved. You can still do it. Trust me, you can do it. I've seen it happen many, many times, but you've got to follow these principles, okay? You've been watching The Aaron Katzman Show. I'm your host, Aaron Katzman. We speak to you about your life, your money, and your investments. If you've got any questions or comments about anything that I said today or anything else, feel free to email me at Aaron, A-A-R-O-N, at lighthousecapital.co.il. That's Aaron at lighthousecapital.co.il. You can check me out on the web at www.aaronkatzman.com. That's www.aaronkatzman.com. Be sure to follow me both on Twitter and LinkedIn. And as always, be sure to subscribe to the brand new YouTube station. It's been really fun being with you, and we'll speak to you soon.